test is everywhere in this spaceship. Everywhere you are, you're all acid testing and acid tasting. Inside the confines of this inner spatial dome, you will find the acid test taking place. I found it, and uh, it's plugged into that little box there. But, uh, okay. Still doesn't work. Okay. This Turn the house work. lights on. We're going to have to mill around and reconnect oh, yes. plug. The mics are off. Can't hear anything. Can you hear anything? Testing. How? This is why How? the variable test problem. Hey, Ken. How? Uh, these three microphones don't seem to be working. They fucked That's up, baby. Nothing up here is working. I uh, ask yes, upon it, friends, the electronic wasteland. How about a taste of microphone? Come on now. Hey. Keep it playing, right. boys. Just keep it playing, boys. She'll come through one of these. There ain't days. no power on the stage. Come on, just keep all oh, No way electricity on the stage. Fix it. This is the captain speaking. We have reached our first emergency, and we haven't even got by the boundaries. Well, why don't of you rectify it? Put it damn quick. Let's everybody put their worries and threats to mind to produce some electricity for the state. It's about time to get it ready. Yes, because there is wires here. all around here plugged into electricity all around here. Now just reach down, everybody. Hey, man, stop your babbling and fix these microphones. We need some power. 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 We need the power, the power. Anybody that can power. produce steady power. Honey, you got the power. Power. Come on now. Get some power up here on the stage. Our best technicians are now on the problem. All right, turn up the microphone. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Confusion, dread confusion. Seems as though uh, it may work yet.
chips This little peg is coming over your house Gonna nibble on your sweet lips into Operation Crystallization. Crazy, the chief engineer, has already left his station at the TV console to go down to the engine room to prepare the rocket fuel needed to enter this new configuration. The captain himself is going down. And there's the electrician. Cassidy, however, will remain at his post in the projection booth in order to keep driving this ship through whatever electrical and meteor shower we have to encounter. We'll keep all the stations alive on the line and the old pointed head will continue to monitor from his post.
these days you know your father will be gone but dad don't dad don't have no mercy in this land In this land Well, death don't Take no vacation In this land In this land You know your family's gonna be gone. I said, death don't, death don't have no mercy in this land.
well, death don't have no mercy in this land. In this land, well, come to your house. You know he don't stay long. Look in the bed, your whole family's gone. I said, death don't, death don't have no mercy in this land. Still on. Oh. Yeah, arrest everybody, but don't hurt any of the equipment, you know? It's our livelihoods. I'm just a, I'm just a hired band member. In case we want to do anything uh, at all. Hello. My function is to be a pretty new loose in the crowd. Okay. Everything, is everything? Good night, ladies and gentlemen. We enjoyed having you here. Hey, man, you don't have to follow my wife. My wife is out. Tell everybody, let's go. Nobody can seem to uh, find out. How are you supposed to uh, turn off this PA? Supposed to turn off the PA, so oh yeah, we know how to turn off the PA. Like to know. Fuck you! I don't know. Uh, we seem to be loose in the crowd here with the microphone, and there just seems to be nobody doing anything that we're supposed to be doing. It just seems to be orderly chaos. Good night, ladies. And if it goes on in here, then if it gets let out to the street, tonight. it's going to be terrible. To enjoy one of America's most fabulous. 
past in the end, nothing but mindless chaos. Even as it started, even with that same old dude, good old mindless chaos. Hasling ever Hasling. I figure that our function and one that does is to reflect the other fellow, whatever instrument that we can use, be it a tape recorder or a camera or a pencil or a mirror. If, um, if I can reflect you and the places where I see uh, the, the barbs and the hang-ups and do it with uh, some amount of love and not with, with hostility so that it, it, there's as little pain as possible, it means that you can move on. Oh, then this would be the purpose of it. The, uh, in other words, by... It's completely uh, therapeutic. Oh. <laughs> With how much success? Well, you see around you some of the uh, more successful ventures right now. Um, you can see some of the lamest and wimpiest and uh, loonyest people in the Bay Area. Well, with what kind of direction do you, do you uh, aim this? therapy, as you call it. Well, as a um, navigator of this venture, I try as much as possible to set out in a direction that in the first place is practically impossible to achieve, and then along the way, mess up uh, the minds of the crew with as many chemicals as we can lay our hands on, so it's almost certain that we can't get there. Uh, what would you say that uh, it was uh, deliberately defeating them? This is, uh, is about as deliberately self-defeating as anything has ever been in history. Uh, most of the people, I think, involved in this realize that there's nothing to be gained. Oh. Um, that every time you try to lay your hands on something and get hold of it, that you've uh, sold yourself down the river. It's a lie. The first prankster uh, rules is that nothing lasts. And if you start there, and, and, and really believe that nothing lasts. You try to achieve nothing at all times. Well, if you're trying to achieve nothing, why do you put so much effort into achieving nothing? <laughs> <laughs> we have, um, we have nothing else to do. <laughs> well, it seems that uh, an absolute uh, nothing would be uh, what you, what you uh, would kind of advocate more than uh, an organiz organized uh, disorganization. Organized disorganization is, uh, is like nothing. That's a self-canceling uh, fact. Uh, like non-music or... Uh, see, none of us are musicians or uh, navigators or technicians. We're all um, completely bumbling amateurs. First, because like Galileo or uh, Columbus or anybody who makes any sort of discovery at all in this world, they have to do it by accident. Uh, that means that we have to do something that will almost ensure accident. Uh, and since a human being is so damn proficient that uh, at grooving himself a, a rut and staying in it at all costs so that he doesn't doesn't get hurt. Uh, we have to do something to break us out of that rut. Um, the rut of our minds, which has been going along the same kind of thinking for so many thousands of years that we don't even realize that, that, that our thoughts are going nowhere new. Um, you don't, you can't have a new idea. You, know, you can't just sit down there and on the toilet and begin to strain and, and, and go forward and find a new idea. You can uh, be enlightened, which is oh, like, ah! Oh! And, and uh, to do that, though, you have to wander into a new area. Well, uh, staying along the same line, more or less, with the type of sounds and noises that uh, you'll be using, what is their purpose? Imagine how it used to be like when people started talking. Um, the first guy that uh, that ever realized that he could use this mechanism in his throat to make a, 
a sound that would uh, uh, communicate a feeling, emotion, or fact in, in the brain of another uh, being over there. Um, at that time, we probably were humming all the time. We were probably making just continual noises. Uh, it's done, like I was saying before, to emphasize something that's going on with us. Uh, there is, right now, uh, between you and I, a, a weirder thing happening than usually happens, just because we're getting close enough to begin to examine it. Um, you get a lot of people examining it for a long time, it gets very weird. It's extremely weird. And this is what, uh, what we're headed towards. In other words, that is the trip. Well, the trip is um, an open circle, I think. Everything else is closed circle. The, the trip means that there's still a place in what is happening for me to fit into, or for you to fit into. Um, if you're listening to the radio, it's a closed circle. It's already happened, you know. But this, this all has to do with time. You see, when I say something now, it's taking how long for the voice to get to you, to your ears and your, your head, so that whatever I do happens at a point in time and finally reaches you by mirror, by whatever you want to call it. By then, it's a closed circle. There's no place for you to interrupt me. Uh, everything is closed circles between people. When you get, when you get an open circle, it's dangerous. It's like children or animals. Uh, it means they demand you uh, doing weird things, like... Uh, playing a harmonica that is going nowhere. Uh, that at any moment you can add to it your own kind of noise and it's part of it. Uh, this is different from uh, Beethoven's book, which is finished. There is no place for me in it except as an audience. Ken Babs, right? Blonde haired? Mm -hmm. Ken? Oh, that's the guy back there. Yeah, yeah. We've already got him on microphone. Oh, yeah? No, we've been picking all that up, too. <laughs> Let him do it, whatever he's Just doing. Just goof. Why? Just fun, that's all. Just good, honest fun. A hard day's fun. Been working at it all day. Sometimes I put in 18 hours a day of fun. <laughs> 18 hours a day? Yep, at least sometimes. I really get going. When it starts to accelerate and builds up, then pretty soon I'm just having fun all the time. That's uh, the best thing, right? Well, who knows? <laughs> but it's fun. What about death for you? What about it? That's the termination of your fun, right? Who knows? You don't know. No, I'm not dead. Oh, so it's possible. So death for you is something that's up in the air. You don't, have, you don't have any ideas about death. Ideas about death? Yeah. I don't have any good ideas about him, because if I did, you'd hear it. <laughs> That's for sure. No, I must not have, because uh, death, you know, death. What about it? Well, would you like to die? <laughs> what a question. <laughs> well, yeah, is that some kind of a threat or something? <laughs> what do you want, my money, my harmonica? Huh? That's all I got, uh, no, plus my bandana, my knife. No, you used that to kill me. <laughs> Can't have my knife. How about a cough drop? No, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Oops, excuse me.
Take two. All right. Take two. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are indisposed as it were at this end of this sound city situation, and we're entitled to take two. Of what, may I ask? God knows I am answered. Take two. They're small. Take two. That's all. Take two. Then quit. Take two, man, and then... That's it, split. Now, I, I, I'm interested in you, because you and I, uh, I, if I put the microphone away...
She saw Jesus and Judas playing solitaire and Frank and Buddha doing a Buddhist prayer. Oswald and Lincoln discussing truth and there right in the alley waiting for you to go slipping past and say hey buddy you want to buy a hot trip to heaven there's always one of those uh fast buck boys baby lurking just down there with a fairway ends. Watch out, he's driving out past now. They're on that. I don't know if he was coming here before night fall and we bought him some for the first time. We're using number 10 on that thing. I hope you find it so perfect. Hey, buddy. Yeah, what you say? You want to buy yourself a hot trip to heaven? Yeah, I'll pick up on that action. Ha, 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 ha! 
who are chilling because you bought your ticket and it's a suddenly one-way job. And I tell you, it wasn't nice. Crazy. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I can't deny that, but suddenly it became something else, some sort of inner working of the diabolical mind of the human brain which passed it outside the realm of that crazy neon and uh, electrical impulse. to be understood by those who are forced to listen. Listen, listen, the heart's a bad note. Listen, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the one? The other one does this with your fingers. And it comes back into the method of this man's standing. There's no communication. It's not a communication. It's not unreachable communication. It's somewhere else. It's on another plane. Astral, astral, astral. <laughs> ticket to that one-way road of the only heaven gates we all know. And I say, it's all beautiful, gold, and glorious. And there's nothing but the sweet, mellow hand laying on you. And I mean to tell you, it just sounds like something that you've heard when you was a little kid. It's because it's still true, brothers. Oh, brothers. My old little heart beats three times. It slowed to thirty-three and a third pause. I came to the third astral elevation as a mere child and danced and formed a jubilation throughout the multitudes of planets. I doubt it for one second. Then my body began to give away. <laughs> we'll show those rascals they cannot outbox the maker. He's the devil, that one. <laughs> to a string after a long ago trout. Hello, Timmy Lee. I've come down here to visit you tomorrow and bring you a donut. Well, come on in and give it to me and we'll see what will work out. Oh, gosh. You know, I just saw Tommy Robin down there at the creek and it was such a thrill. He had his new feathers on, you know. Tommy, Tommy's such a nice guy. 
and he's very pyrrhico. He's such a frit. You know, he was up all busybody and giving everybody so much trouble this morning. Oh, but here, have another donut. Hey, did you hear? I think we tell you this, but did you hear us see? No. But he went quiet to tell you this. Straight without deviation? Of course. Oh, it's an abomination if I've ever heard one. He's struggling with gratefully masterpieces. With your assistance and clarity, I have left my astral form and achieved spectral. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for listening. Without your clarity, I would still be bound to gravity and the mass EMC squared. I can feel them all leaving now. They're running out of my ears like little jackrabbits gaily crossing the pasture that morning so long ago. And I'm over there now and I can flick back into to your old pasture and the red barn and the kids on the beach and the stream saying, be good. And all oh, Oh, I remember it, too. I remember, well, the peeps can come run through in time there, but I found out for a moment there in a field where your arms are ahead of your head. And the field is there, and we're above it for a change, and we don't have to dally in it. We can move on to another fluttery business. We can levitate and transubstantiate can it be true that we can go so far as to teleport our astral bodies into another plane? Plane? The man's insane. Ah, he's babbling just like he always He's out of his has. nuts. And so they take Pan away, giggling and fluting across the cement of his yesterday. But every once in a while, between the edge of, I've almost forgotten, and, oh my God, what does it mean? You can just catch the slightest echo. Little leftover electronic impulse from all this crazy static of feedback clicks. You achieve a clarity that passes you too. One step over. The be good fence. Well, I don't know about you, but that guy's plumb fool. And get him off of there. Let's get, get let's get some of the I heard some crazy critters in my time, but that makes me sick the way he's coming on up there. I just if he thinks I'm gonna put out three dollars and ninety-five cents for an album with this kind of trash, I say he's crazy. I say that America doesn't need this kind of impudent young snots. And those are hard words, I know, but these are hard times. Terrible times. Get him off of there. They can't even understand that we are a war nation.
We are at war. This is Franklin Delano Roosevelt speaking. The uh, only thing you have to fear is fear itself. Our time. The only salvation is to be good. I said be good. Hmm. We still got it going. The crossover once means that we can slip back and forth because we are once again Learned the edges a little apart about the past into the present and sometimes tickling the toes. Perhaps if he were seeing visions like say somebody in the past of them. You because at times the voice goes out and comes back just a slight second delay and it does just enough just barely enough that you mind with a little bit of Deliberate effort. Crack. And mine. And snarl this whole single track. And slightly insane logic into a manner of speaking which our children could understand. It is for the children's sake only, for God's sakes. Get him off you. of there! Get him off of there now, I say! Do you want the kids hearing this? Yeah. Look at him up there. That's how I'd like to lay this thing down for a while. I'd like to lay this down too, and if any of you put something more on it, I would listen or I'd let the dead sing some. Yeah, it would be good because everything is just so nice. <coughs> My voice is completely shot, Ken. I can't even hold it. I can't even keep a pitch down. Ah, uh, see. <laughs> 